Hi, this is Sheshanan from Aerotech Solutions. I just want to give one example in Embedded C by using Keel Microvision and Embedded C. The first example is LEDs blink operation. So first you have to develop Embedded C source code. So I'm just using Keel Microvision to develop source code. So this is your microvision tool you need to use to develop the source code. From this just follow the options, click on project tab and use the option new microvision project. And here I am just operating 8 LEDs on off operation. So I am giving same project name as LEDs on off. So most of the cases just provide your project name as related to problem. So give the project name in a specific folder. Now this is my path local disk D and this is my channel Aerotech solutions and projects. Here I am saving my project. And now this is the window for choosing your microcontroller from different manufacturers. Here. The Keel Microvision supports for all these manufacturers. Don't think that Keel Microvision supports for only Atmel. No. Even all these manufacturers, you can start writing programs by using Keel Microvision. From this, you have to choose a specific manufacturer. Now, I am selecting Atmel. And click on this plus mark. It will show the list of devices from this manufacturer. From this, just choose your device as AT89C51. So once you are choosing your microcontroller, it shows all the internal features of so-and-so controller. Now, this Atmel AT89C51 supports 32 IO lines, 2 timers and 6 interrupts, 1 UART and 4 kilobytes of flash ROM memory and 128 bytes of on-chip RAM memory. Now click on OK. Now this will ask for startup code, add yes or no. So you can go with any option, there is no issue here. Now I am going with no. Up to now, you selected your target device, which is Atmel 8089C51. Whatever the source code you are developing here, so which is works on the target. To open editor, go file tab and choose option new. Here you have to write your source code. Now I am writing my source code hash include reg51.h. So the reg51 which includes all the registers of microcontroller without any declaration you can use all SFR register names. For IO codes you know already P0, P1, P2, P3 are the names. And for delay, I'm defining one user defined function which is scaling. Then main, main program starts from here. And anyway, so I'm taking one integer data type or else delay is already declared so whatever the io port you are using just make sure as logic zeros so now i am taking one infinite loop which is while of one let's see my operation on io port i am giving all ones so which means ff means as bcd format 1 1 1 1 and the other f is 1 1 1 which means you are assigning all ones for your io pins and to see the response from leds you have to maintain some time delay between logics i am giving some time delay and changing logics to zeros after some time delay so that you can watch response from LEDs on off. 
So by giving logic zeros, your LEDs will go off state. Again, to watch this off response from LEDs, we have to call delay. So this is the infinite loop, your execution which is keep on running with these four lines. Now, what is the definition of delay function? I declare delay function without arguments so that you cannot pass arguments for your delay. So I am declaring temporary variables as v1 and I'm using self for loop I can generate some time delay as initial declaration as integer so that I can take my range up to 65,535 and I'm terminating this semi for loop with semicolon this is my embedded C program to see the response from LEDs which are connected across port 2 from microcontroller after writing program in text editor you have to go with the file option as save but remember the program should save with .c extension the program name may be different from project name or else you can go with the same name but give the extension as .c this is my program you can watch with big, big font size this is my header file and this is user defined function and main program starts from here and the initial declaration of IOs as zeros and while of one is an infinite loop which allows to execute these four lines continuously and the delay function is self for loop it gives some time delay for us so that I can watch response from LEDs so after saving your file choose this target one option and click on plus mark so you have to add the source file with respect to target select your source group one and right click and choose the option add files to source group one here it will ask which source file you are looking to execute with respect to target select your file and click on add button once you will get plus mark here your project is already added now close you can cross check just by click clicking this plus mark you can get confirmation whether file is added with target or not now to cross check the errors and warnings of this existence program go project tab and choose the option build target or else you can press F7 from your keyboard as function key so up to now you can you don't have any errors and warnings in this program if you want to check with debug session you can go you can proceed by using this debug tab the first option you have to choose start or stop debug session or else control F5 control and function key F5 from your keyboard so this is your evolution mode it's not a crack version so once you check this program there are many windows which already opened the registers which are available on the left side of your program but now I want to see the response of IO ports so IO ports which are available on peripheral staff that to which IO port are, you look, are used in program port to 2 just open your port 2 and keep it aside and click the cursor on program window and use function key F11 from keyboard see the initial declaration is 00, 0 so that you can see the response of IO port value as 00, 0. now you are entering into infinite loop FF so that all I was got tick mark which means all I was are holding logic one see the delay function which come to execution the first statement is executed and again zeros and again comes to delay function for loop is executed and again coming back to ff so ff00 ff00 this is running continuously 
so you need to press F11 function key to execute step by step of your program or else if you want to keep this process in run mode use debug tab and use the run option see you can watch the response from LEDs as connected across port 2 this is the procedure to cross check your output by using debug tab still if you want to check with hardware just stop this debug session by using same option go debug tab and choose the option stop debug session but to check with simulation you need to create dot hex file so let's see follow the hex file creation steps choose target one from project window and right click it and choose the option options for target target one here it requires crystal oscillator frequency basically the board which maintains standard crystal oscillator as 11.0592 MHz and then use on chip memory just highlight this and click on output tab and choose the option create hex file by giving all these options just click on ok and go with the project tab and choose the option build a target so that it creates hex file with the project name not with program name remember now minimize your programming IDE and open your simulation tool is produce you need to install with your personal computer so this produce simulation tool helps to cross check all the outputs of hardware now choose the component what you are looking so just type it as related keyword of microcontroller which is AT89C51 this will support all the controller families including PIC, AVR, Arduino, LPC series every microcontroller outputs you can cross check with the simulation tool now I am looking for red LEDs I type the keyword red LED just select your component and close this component window only components window not entire tool now select your component and place it on design just one click of mouse now I am selecting LED and even if you want to rotate for anodes and cathodes direction you can change by using this rotate symbols now as per application where you need to connect these LEDs with port 2 just place your 8 LEDs in order So that 8 LEDs which are connected, you need to connect with 8 IOs of microcontroller. So 8 LEDs with 8 IOs from controller. And just connecting each LED anode end with IO so just follow the same connection because you made logic one to turn on LEDs so that you need to connect anode end with IOs what about cathodes you had to go with common ground so this is your terminals mode choose this option and from here select your ground So make sure all cathode ends you need to connect with ground. So I just done with all cathode connections with ground. 
After preparing your hardware, just double click on controller to link your hex file with the simulation tool. There is option program file and follow this folder symbol. Now you have to browse your hex file which is already saved in your drive D which is aerotech channel and prosex. My project name is 8 LEDs on off. Select your hex file and set the same crystal frequency whatever you created from programming tool as 11.058. Don't erase this mega hatch. It remains same. Click on OK. Now you can go with this play symbol. You can watch now LED's response from simulation tool. So all LEDs on, all LEDs off. So this is the way to check your hardware outputs. Once you are confident with the simulation tool, you can proceed with the real hardware. So I just done my programming with Keel and I prepared my hardware with simulation and I linked my hex file which is generated from Keel IDE with produce simulation tool. Thanks for watching. If you are expecting training or internship in Aerotech Solutions, so just follow our link or address for further classes. You can keep watch our videos and please subscribe Aerotech Solutions channel. Thanks for watching.